Roblox Puppet. The first case not even this old Kaji could crack. The trail had gone cold. After the game's disappearance, the creators went silent. No one dared say a word, almost like they were being watched. But after two months of radio silence, finally, signs of life. Hope rose in the heart of many. Were we finally going to crack the case? Was this a story with a happy ending? Alas, we were wrong. Oh, so wrong. A month went by, and out of nowhere, Puppet was reopened. However, what we saw shook us to the very core, an image that still haunts me to this very day. What we saw was no longer Puppet, the shiny Brad game that had gone missing. It was a monster. It's time to revisit our investigation into the murder of Puppet. Ma'am, sir, six-year-old little Timmy, I think you're gonna need to sit down because I've got some horrible news for you. A tragedy has struck. It is truly horrible. Roblox Puppet has been murdered. That's right. You heard me correctly, everyone. They've been beaten, stabbed, and painted over. Uh, that last one probably isn't too bad, but it looks absolutely horrible right now. Let me catch you up on the details first. A few months ago, we had a game called Puppet, which was a piggy-style clone, but it was widely regarded as one of the worst, one of the dumbest, one of the most poorly made piggy ripoffs out there. And everybody loved it. It had thousands of players everywhere. Everyone wanted a piece of the action. It's like a car crash. It's horrible to look at, but you can't look away. However, a game like Puppet would have a lot of enemies. A lot of people that would want it to disappear. And that's exactly what happened. Puppet became under review. It was a tragedy. There was a week of more Morning. People were crying on the streets, breaking down on Twitter. The entire world shut down for a day to mourn the disappearance of such a beloved game. But what was even weirder is that the parents of this deformed baby of a game didn't say anything. They declined to comment. All they said was, Puppet is currently down for some time. We will keep you updated to the status of the game. They didn't tell us why. Was it copyright? Was it something that broke Roblox's terms of services? Did the puppets actually come to life and try to kill people? Absolutely nothing. But before we continue, I've got to introduce you guys to something brand new. The sponsor of today's video, Call Games! Wait a minute. That's right, I've talked about them before, but the free online platform feels completely different now. Thanks to some crazy new Halloween games, D&D games, and a new freaking leveling system for free cosmetics. You can even unlock a freaking tank to ride. But seriously, it's truly amazing. If you didn't know, Core is a platform similar to Roblox that runs on the Unreal engine. So you got a whole bunch of games like Trick or Treat Town, made by you guys and played by you guys. Again, it's currently in open alpha and gaining traction fast. A lot of the big YouTubers are talking about it now. So get in now, check it out and proudly say that you were there at the start of something. You were there at the start of the future of online gaming. Also, we got a $500 Tower of Terror tournament for the fastest time to the top of the Obby Tower. Check the pinned comment below for the link. Anyway, time passes and eventually one of the creators says, more news, we are going to be releasing Puppet again real soon. We are waiting for Roblox for the thumbs up before we can release it. So I decided it was time to look for it in the search bar. It was time to look it up. And what's this? It's already back. But something is wrong, everybody, and we're gonna look at that right now. So as you can see here, Puppet is back to its former glory. We've still got the crazy thumbnails. We've still got the description of the latest update when it died. And we've still got that blessing of a like to dislike ratio. Everything seems fine until you look at the play count. Only 21 people playing. And that's when the red flag started because a game like Puppet that once sported thousands of noobs hungry for their piggy fix now only has 21 people playing at once. Yeah, I guess you could chalk it up to Puppet just coming back and absolutely nobody knows about it. But you'd at least expect to see more players. Like for comparison, Bunny's Funeral still has 74 players and that's from an event that happened months ago about a character that absolutely nobody cares about anymore. I'm looking at you, piggy shippers. And look, it's only been a few minutes and now it's only got 12 players. So I think it's time to rip off the band-aid
update everybody. I do know why it has so little players right now. And you know, it's actually quite sad. Are you ready to head in? I know, get, get some tissues. I hope you're sitting down because I am going to show you just what happened to our baby boy. Just what happened to Puppet. Dear Lord, what is this? Oh, Cole's admin credit? What? what since when was that in Puppet? Was that in the original Puppet? Oh, oh, I, I was going to check out store, but apparently the store function's broken. There's no music. That does not look like a puppet. Like, well, what happened to my favorite Sesame Street character, Elmo? Um, where's Bert and Ernie? I'm sure this will be fine. Let's press play. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know I was playing Phantom Forces. What is this crouching gun guy option? And I, I don't even crouch, I just walk slower. And what is this bedroom? This is the original piggy house. And not only that, but it looks a thousand times worse as well. I bet you I won't even die dropping down here. <gasps> oh, well I did, but not in any interesting way. Oh God, don't tell me there's no spectate button. Is there no spectate button? Are we just forced to sit here and twiddle our thumbs? These have got to be bots or something. There is no way they can enjoy just sitting here and constantly stuck in a cycle of death and rebirth, waiting for the next round to happen. What's Pamela even doing? Pamela's just sitting here staring at the wall watching paint dry. And Linton here, I think he's brain dead. He probably had a stroke or something from the confusion. Like, remember all those maps? Like the library, the station, the, uh, the forest with the boat place and all that. And like all the special effects, like the MLG sound effects and all that crazy stuff. Oh, here we go. We've got chapter one house and chapter two blue house. I'm loving the variety here. Guys, you've got to be kidding me. I think chapter two blue house is literally just chapter one house, but freaking blue. I actually did not know that. I, I did not know that at all. What is this place? Are we in heck? It feels like heck. This can't be the piggy I remember. What is that key? My God, it's super glowy though. That's actually pretty cool. You can't even crouch through here. You've got to be kidding me. At least this guy knows what he's doing. Star Junior. This guy is a freaking new puppet pro. He's probably learning how to speed run the brand new puppet. He's getting ready for when there's thousands and thousands of players that will be playing this beauty. It honestly looks like they just shoved a keyboard in front of a six year old and then that six year old buffed out this game. It's like the game of a 10 year old who watched a tutorial on how to make a piggy game. In fact, no, no. Okay, the, the title screen menu, uh, uh, the, the, the piggy? No, 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 no. What about the house, Alvin? What about the house, Alvin Blocks? The house is the exact same. They even have the vacuum. This game is literally Alvin Blocks's Piggy tutorial. Star Junior, we've been lied to. Please, Star, tell me something good about this game. Tell me there's hope, Star. He's been brainwashed to play Puppet nonstop. That or he's been paid. Okay, so we've got to think about why this happened. How did this happen? What's an explanation for why Puppet went from the trash piggy ripoff that everybody liked, that at least had some flavor to it, to a trash piggy ripoff? That's a trash piggy ripoff. So I got out the magnifying glass and I took a closer look and I noticed something odd. This wasn't the original creator of Puppet. This was a fraud. It had actually been a whole nother game this entire time. The original Puppet at least used to show up in the games when you searched it up, even when it was deleted. But now that it's gone, this is the only one that's there. This game is taking the credit. And the only way for the new ones to tell the difference is to check out the profile of the developer where he says, hello, I ain't the original owner of Puppet, but I made another version of it. So check it out. And boy, oh boy, was that a fun version or what? So don't be fooled, young ones. And finally, the future of Puppet. Does it have a future? Well, if it stays like this, it is not gonna last a month. In fact, I'm surprised it's even got players right now. It's just churning through noobs at the moment. Like I see noobs playing the most boring games. Games, right? I see noobs still playing Ice Cream Simulator, which hasn't been updated in like 50 centuries, and they still enjoy it. But this game is cycling through noobs like I cycle through white shirts. It's just going through them so fast, eventually it's gonna dry up the well of noobs and it'll fade into non-existence. Maybe they will get all the assets back into Puppet. Maybe they're working on that right now. And maybe, just maybe, a month from now, I'll be making a video saying welcome back to Roblox.
Roblox puppet, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Core down below. It's an awesome platform, and I've got my $500 competition going on. So do indeed click the link down below, sir. I'll see you soon. Goodbye!